Welcome back to the California Gardener, now gardening on the west coast. I wanted to give you a little tip about growing apples in your own yard. You might hear some vehicles go by because I'm in my front yard, so please just ignore them. Now when you have apple trees, they tend to have a prolific year and then a slow year. And this, of course, is the prolific year. You can see all the apples. This tree just bloomed like crazy. There's apples absolutely everywhere. And this is one of those combination trees. It has like four or five varieties on it. This is a Macintosh. And the car goes by. Uh, as you can see, uh, usually when the bloom set, there's a whole bunch of blooms all together. A lot of the apples get pollinated and start to grow. Now the apple tree will drop some of the apples to try to give itself uh, room to grow fruit. But sometimes it holds on to too many because it's really not concerned about making high quality table apples. And that's where your work comes in. Now depending on how many apples you want and how big you want them, you really should thin out these clusters down to about one to two apples and that's usually what I do. When you have a younger smaller tree it's more important because if you leave too many apples on you could damage your branches or have to give them more support uh, later in the season as they grow. If you take these clusters down to one apple each you will still have plenty of apples left on these trees like it, it is amazing you, you see there's just apples everywhere every few inches and you still have an apple they're hiding everywhere behind the leaves you see them everywhere still usually end up with too much apples so i would say go crazy with the, the pruning and when you pick when you're using um your hands you can just bend the apple down towards the branch and it usually pops off pretty easily like that that's using your hands or you can use you know a pair of garden shears to snip them off and then I save them and I throw them in the compost okay so I usually just look at the apples if there's a nice uh, big one leave that one take the other ones you know just snap them off and uh, leave the you know one or two apples to grow you can do this sequentially, you don't have to pull them all off because sometimes this, the tree still drops more apples. So don't do it right away, wait till the apples start to grow a little bit like this, then you know which ones are really going to take. And the ones that are a little bit smaller, like you can see in this cluster, there's always a little bit of a smaller one. The tree might drop this one or it might hold on to it for a while and just waste energy on it. So go ahead and break that one off for sure. But then you can see right away I can pick which one I like. This one right here is the biggest one, so I'll drop these three off. Okay, so that's all I do at every apple cluster. Sure, it takes a time, but it's pretty fast, and uh, you'll get a really nice tree full of large apples later in the season. Okay, it's very worth it just to snap off those little apples. It's so easy. I use the garden shear because it's way faster. But if you you gotta be a little bit careful when you pull them off like this, otherwise you can rip off the whole fruit bud. So you just wanna push the stem in the opposite direction that the apple's growing and it pops right off at the base just like that okay so I hope that helps you out and uh, you'll get a happier healthier apple tree and nice big apples in the fall okay thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that like button tell me what you want to see next and good luck gardening see you later